The following program was paid for by Latino Cleveland. This program was made possible by Global Cleveland, supporting the growth of Northeast Ohio's Hispanic community. Este programa es hecho gracias a Global Cleveland, respaldando el crecimiento de la comunidad hispana en el noreste de Ohio. Oye, mi gente, welcome to Yo Soy Latino Cleveland. I am here to welcome back our guest host, June Cologne. How are you? I'm doing well on yourself. Good. So have you enjoyed the experience? It's a great experience. I appreciate it. Really? Yeah, it's been so awesome to have you. Yeah. You know what? I have to tell you, the ladies have been calling in <laughs> and emailing. Some feedback going on? Yeah, there's some feedback going on. All positive. On. Yeah, it's all been okay. pretty good, pretty good. I've got some feedback as well. Um, a lot of people are talking about how the show has given a visual aid to the oh, city. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of stuff that's been going on in radio and word of mouth is getting spread visually. So right. cool. that cool. helps. And you know, a lot of women been asking where they can buy this uh, fireman calendar. <laughs> yes, Mr. June, <laughs> in case you don't know. The Cleveland firefighter, the Cleveland 14 firefighter. years. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's get the show started. Yes. I'm so excited that we have just a great show lined up for you today. We have Pato Reyes visiting us today. And actually, a couple other things. We're going to be dancing salsa, in case you don't know. <laughs> well, let's go to church first. How are you? I'm doing great. Great. Now, you're a pastor in the community, right? Um, yes, for the grace of God, I've been a pastor of Nueva Vida Church for 22 years. Wow. wow and 22. I consider wow. myself not only pastor for Nueva Vida, I consider pastor for the Hispanic community. Yes, yes. 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 Okay. Well, is your, where is your church located? Our church is located in 2327 Homden Avenue okay. between Scranton and West 25th in the Clark Metro area. Yeah, that's yeah. the heart of the community. The yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Now yeah. I know you guys do a lot in the community and you've kind of recently got involved in becoming an author, a book or something, right? Yes, uh, God gave me the opportunity to write a book. My book uh, uh, is called uh, Immigration and Redemption, Immigration y Redemption. Okay, what is that yeah. the combination? What's it about? Uh, my book uh, talk about the uh, immigration uh, situation in the United States and other countries. Now, what inspired you to write this book? Because I know President Obama is pretty much going around the country mm -hmm. speaking on immigration reform. So, did that? Did he have a response to your book, or did he ever talk to you about it? Yes, uh, an immigrant and mm -hmm. work for the. Uh, immigrant. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. in, in my church, we have uh, mm -hmm. 13 different nationality. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Wow. And right. the immigration is a uh, big issue around the world. Right. We have right now 114 million immigrants. 114 million immigrants. Hispanic, around the or world, not around the world. In, in general, total. In the general, total. Okay. And in the United, in United States, we have um, 54 million Hispanic living in the U.S. We are the second uh, minority in this country wow. right now. Wow. Okay. Now you mentioned that you have. 13 different Latin cultures in your church? In my church. Yeah, one of the things I try to educate our audience is that there's a, over 27 different Latin cultures, or about 27. So what kind of cultures do you have in your church, just to share with our audience? We have um, uh, for all Latin American, okay. Central American, uh, South American, and the Caribbean. And where are you from? Uh, Caribbean, Dominican Republic. Ah, yeah. Dominican, yeah. Dominicano. <laughs> yes. Now, me and Myra are pretty active in the community. What can we do to help you out yeah, within the community? Um, uh, our church mm -hmm. uh, is focused on the family. Okay. okay. And we have a lot of programs, like uh, students' uh, program. Last week, we have uh, about 40 uh, senior high school okay. students yeah. uh, taking uh, orientation about how they can right. get to college. Right. Now, before we go, I want to make sure that people 
know how to get your book. June, you want to show it? So how could a person purchase your book? Uh, they can buy my book in, in the church, and also they can find it in, in Amazon.com. Okay. okay. Yeah. Now, um, where is your church? And if you don't mind sharing with them when the services are, like the time. Okay. Uh, our church uh, have two services on Sunday Okay. at uh, 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. And the second one is 1 p.m. We are bilingual. Okay, great. I, I, nice. I preach in Spanish. Mm -hmm. And my son, uh, Pastor Wesley Reyes, preach in English. Great. Well, thank so you, it's a great experience <laughs> because uh, we involve the whole family. Right. Well, we do have to go. And I want to thank you so much for coming. La Nueva Vida is a very important church in the community. Now, when we get back, we are going to learn some salsa. Oh, actually, I'm going to be taking you to the Spanish American Committee. Uh -huh. All right. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Mayra Rosario with Latino Cleveland, and I am so pleased and pleasured to be here at the Spanish American Committee with Ramonita Vargas, the Executive Director. How are you? I am fine. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. So can you please share with our audience the mission of the Spanish American Committee? The mission of the Spanish American Committee is to serve as a social economic success for the entire Latino community. Oh, that's wonderful. Now, what type of services did you, do you have here, and how did it all start? Our services right now that we provide is employment, social services, GED, ESL, housing, okay. and we have a daycare center. Okay, so how did it start? <laughs> well, it's a funny story. The Spanish American Committee started with uh, four gentlemen sitting in a basement uh, playing dominoes, and they felt that there was nowhere for Latinos to go, and there were offices that they would go, and they felt embarrassed because they didn't know how to speak English, so they created this organization so that the community could be helped, and they felt that they were more comfortable to come here, and they didn't have to feel like that, and somebody could help them out. Well, I know that you guys just celebrated your 48 years. Now, how many people are you actually servicing in a year? Currently, since January through September 30th, we've served 6,091 people. I know you have a small staff, so how are you pulling all this together? Well, I don't know about other services that are provided in the city, but the Spanish American Committee has always been very helpful with clients. If we have to go above and beyond with our clients, we do that. We do not count the number of people that walk in through that door. We just serve because that's what we're here to do. That's wonderful. And you know, such a wonderful organization. If anyone is interested in getting services or contacting you, how should they contact you? Well, they can uh, go through our website at www.spanishamericancommittee.org or they can call 216-961-2100. Okay, well, thank you. Um, if you'd like to learn more about the Spanish American Committee, make sure you log on to latinocleveland.com. And Ramonita, I just want to thank you so much for joining us. Now stay tuned for more Yo Soy Latino Cleveland after this. Thanks, Myra. You can find more information about the Spanish American Committee on our website, latinocleveland.com. Up next, when we return, Viva Dance Studio will be teaching us a few dance moves. So stay tuned for more Yo Soy Latino Cleveland right after this. <laughs> Welcome back to Yo Soy Latino Cleveland. Myra and I are excited to have with us Brittany Carbaugh <laughs> from Viva Dance Studio. So tell us a little bit about social dance scenes in Cleveland. Absolutely. So um, I am with Viva Dance Studio. Okay. Um, we have our grand opening coming up soon in spring 2015. Nice. So just right around the corner. Um, and as you mentioned, there's a plenty of places to come in social dance. So um, it's great to come in, learn how to dance, but then a lot of people go, where do I use it? Yeah, right. <laughs> so, right? <That'll> <laughs> and I think people are going to be surprised to find out just how many places and how many opportunities there are to dance salsa right. in Cleveland. Right. Um, with Viva Dance, we have a social from west side to east side, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, wow. and we're always out in the community at special right. events, yeah. so I'd be happy to tell you. Now, it's those. not just salsa. I mean, there's different type of Latin dances, right? Oh, absolutely. So right. when you come out to a salsa night, mm -hmm. you're primarily going to hear salsa dancing, salsa music. You're going to hear styles of bachata, 
So that's nice. a different style of dance, very Dominican in origin. Yes. Um, you'll hear some cha-cha-cha. Nice. There's different styles of salsa. Hold on. Is it more than one cha? Cha-cha-cha. Oh, <laughs> cha. I've been saying it wrong all these years. It is cha-cha-cha, mm -hmm. but um, we like to shorten it and say cha-cha. Okay. Yep. And mm -hmm. then there's different styles of salsa. Um, we also have merengue that you're going to hear. Yeah. Merengue. Um, yes. And then there's a new hot dance on the scene called kazomba, which is oh. very African in origin. Yeah. So you'll start to hear a little bit of kazomba music and see some right. kazomba dancing at a salsa night as well. Right. Now, Viva Dance Studio has a grand opening coming up. Yes, we do. So, yeah. Viva has been around for a lot of years. We've gone through a lot of transitions right. and we right. are officially grand open, beautiful new studio on East 38th Street mm -hmm. um, coming spring, so right around the corner. That's actually in the Asian Plaza, right? Yes, it is, the yeah. Asian Town yes. Center. Right. Now, they can find you on Facebook, right? Because I saw some uh, Absolutely. photos, right? Mm -hmm. Where's the Facebook page? Well, you can go to www.vivadancestudio.com or okay. you can go to Facebook backslash Viva Dance Studio and okay. find us. What's yeah. up? You gonna show us some moves? <laughs> <laughs> I will. I will. So, you guys, ready to learn Please. some salsa? Well, yes, okay. definitely. <laughs> Give us some moves. All right. So, moves. why don't we do this all together? What we're gonna start off doing is stepping forward with our left foot. We're gonna step in place with our right foot, and then we're gonna collect back to our left. So, we're gonna go forward, left, in place, right, and collect left. Now, we're gonna go backward with our right foot, back right in place left and collect back right. Okay, so all together, we're gonna do it together. We're gonna go forward, forward, in place, together. And then we go back with the right, perfect, in place, together. Yes, very nice. Let's try it all together to our counts. Okay. I'm gonna count you in. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, hold four. Yep, five, six, seven, hold eight. Let's keep going. One, two, three, hold four. Five, six, seven, hold eight. One more time, one, two, three and five, six, seven. Now, we started forward, and that's our gentleman's part. <laughs> the lady, if I could borrow you for a demonstration. Oh, okay, oh, okay. okay. You're leading, you're leading here. Okay. <laughs> so you're gonna do exactly what I just taught you. Okay. The lady or the follow is gonna start backward. So okay. I'm gonna count us in. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Go ahead, Jim. And five, six, <laughs> seven, that's it. One, two, three and five, six, seven. Question. Very nice, absolutely. I see you moving your hips. Should I do that too or no? <laughs> you can move your hips as much as you'd okay. like. <laughs> What's up? Can, I, can you guys do that to a little music? Absolutely. Give us some music. <laughs> Go ahead. Let's wait for it. Five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna leave them alone here. One, two, three, five, six, seven. I feel like a pro, I feel like a pro. Yeah, oh, you got it. <laughs> Even though you're leading. <laughs> you're leading, totally just leading. Kidding, just kidding. <laughs> One, two, three. Okay. Nice, nice, thank nice you, work, Appreciate absolutely. It. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> like very natural. I mean, you know, we got our habits from being, you know, Puerto Rican. Oh yeah. I mean, I, you know, well, and well. I'd like to make a comment about that. <laughs> I think that what's really fascinating about the salsa scene here in Cleveland is how diverse it is. Right. So we have people from all backgrounds, nationalities, professions, ages coming to dance salsa. Right. And people from a lot of Latino cultures and backgrounds, they come with this natural passion for it right. and they listen to the music and you can see it on their face and they dance and it's it's fantastic right. and then um, we have people who've never danced before from a non-hispanic background who are like tell me the numbers yeah, <laughs> and so exactly. it's nice to fuse it and teach the numbers teach the formality which is how you can dance with anyone but then also then really um, capture that passion that right. you guys already grew up with and right. have naturally now you talk about diversity there's yes. an event tonight Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So Viva Dance has, um, we run a social on the second Wednesday of every month um, at Vosh in Lakewood. Okay. Um, every Thursday, mm -hmm. we have one on West 25th Street at Kanzaman. And every Friday, we have a social at Ceviche um, on the east side, right okay. under Restaurant Europa. And okay. other than the socials that we host, we also mm -hmm. participate in communities around uh, events in the community, such as Viva La Salsa, which is happening tonight. Tonight, <laughs> With yes. Sammy De Leon at Vosh. It's going to be fantastic. Yes. Viva instructors teaching a beginner-friendly lesson and even a demonstration of performance right. later in the Definitely. evening. I'll be there. I'll be there. <laughs> uh, Vosh is at, located at 1414 Riverside Drive in Lakewood, Ohio. Uh, Yo Soy Latino Cleveland will be in the house, really? right? Hey, June, you coming to practice some of those I'll be there with my moves? dancing shoes. <laughs> so, you know, we want to thank you so much for coming. Thank and you. again, if thank you'd you. like thank to you. learn more about Viva Dance Studio, make sure you log on to latinocleveland.com. So stay tuned for more Yo Soy Latino Cleveland right after this. Mm -hmm. 
Welcome back to Yo Soy Latino Cleveland, here with Myra mm -hmm. and Chevalier de Jesus in one of my favorite segments, the food segment. Oh God, everybody knows the food <laughs> segment's your favorite segment. <laughs> who, who doesn't like food? <laughs> now, what is the name of your business? My business is Chevy's Berryful Creations. Berryful. Yeah. Cute. Okay. And I do customized chocolate covered strawberries. Mm -hmm. um, I do everything from characters to writing and just fancy drizzle. <laughs> nice. Now is it just berries or do other fruits um, take part of it? I can do other fruits. I um, do pineapples, chocolate covered pineapples. Nice. I also do chocolate covered um, pretzel. Mm -hmm. okay. And any requests? Any donuts? For our public safety. <laughs> oh, I haven't done donuts, but I have done brownies. <laughs> what, what's up with public safety and donuts? Uh, it's, it's a firefighter police thing, sorry. <laughs> now, um, how long have you been in business? How did you start? Because, you know, we love Latino-owned businesses. Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, I'm a stay-at-home mom. My hubby oh. goes and works, so I get to stay home with the kids. Yeah. And um, one Valentine's Day, I just decided I want to try something different. Why not? Right. When I first started, I was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I was drizzling with a spoon. And, um, you know, now I practice and practice and, you know, my biggest motivation are my children. I want to be able to uh, do something at home and, you know, stay with them and also contribute to my family. Okay. okay. So I heard you're, uh, you're going to show us a little bit of something here. Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. Tell, you, tell um, us what you got in store. Here I have some of my uh, Valentine's Day items. Mm -hmm. I have uh, my true love bouquet, which yeah. is uh, some rose themed oh, chocolate covered strawberries and a bouquet with the balloon and also comes with I'm going to pull one out. I, I just, oh, okay. Now, as far as, I know Valentine's Day is nice. coming up, but do you do this all year round? Yes, I am open 24-7. Oh, no. Nice. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> yes, um, I do all occasions, birthdays, mm -hmm. baby showers, everything. So you have a different theme for each one? Yes, and, and I great. also do customized, so whatever you like me to do, I would do. Just like these, yeah. I did um, some of the Hispanic flags, the Latino flags, and also the oh, logo for nice. yeah. just so Sh Latino uh, flags. Share with our audience what flags you have here. Okay. Oh, look, yo soy Latino Cleveland. <laughs> I love it. I also have um, the Puerto Rican flag, which I am. What? Oh, Puerto Rico. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I have the skyline of Cleveland. I also have the Mexican flag. Oh, look, Cleveland. Which represents my husband and my family. Mm -hmm. How um, long does something like this take? Um, it depends. Uh, the chocolate work usually takes a little longer than to actually dip it. It looks real detailed. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> And uh, it's, it's hard because there's only a little space to do it. Right. Um, but I also have the Colombian flag, the Panamanian flag, which my uh, godfather is. And then I also have uh, the Dominican flag. Right. So you're going to show us how to do one? Oh, well, you, yeah. let, let's try Hey, you let's guys can try it out. OK. <laughs> um, here we have some Viking bags with pink chocolate and another pink chocolate. OK. Um, you go ahead and turn it towards you. We can create and whatever we want, or go ahead, go ahead for a Valentine's <laughs> Day. Put some hearts in. Try see. to write your name. Don't look, that? June. Don't I'll look, June. Right. Cursive, or you know, <laughs> I'm a short now. Cursive. Okay, here we go. Do you bake mm. these after? I mean, like, or does it just like no, harden up on its own? Yeah, the chocolate dries once it's. Oh no. Set. Oh, my my little guy looks weird. I could never do this, by the way. I'm, not, I'm <laughs> like the worst artist. Oh, oh June is embarrassing yeah. me over here. Oh, dang. Cook. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. I think ah, I made some weird oh, little guy nice. here. <laughs> what do you they put both your taste, name it tastes it? the same. It tastes the same. Don't worry about it. You did hey, a good job. Who's you like better? You did a good job. Uh, Myra, <laughs> yours is fabulous. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so these are actually really good. So again, um, you do pretzels, you do yes. strawberries. What other type of things do you do again? Um, I uh, do brownies, sugar covered brownies, sugar covered. Um, Pineapples, pretty much anything you would like dipped in chocolate. Okay, so if you don't mind, share with our audience how they can get a hold of you. Okay, um, you can reach me on my Facebook page, uh, Chevy's Berry for Creations uh, at Facebook. Also, uh, my phone number is 216-396-8494. And that's how you can get a hold Do of me have, anytime. Are you talking about the event that's coming yeah, up? Yeah, you have an event, right? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I will be participating in um, an event called Bliss at the Mapleside Farms on uh, February 13th. It's going to be from 8 p.m. to 12 a.m. And you can go on Facebook, uh, Facebook slash uh, Mapleside slash Bliss, and it will take you. You can order tickets and attend the event. Okay. okay. Uh, one more question, because yeah. I don't want to take you out of business, but... Uh, Here we go. <laughs> go ahead, June, eat it. We know this part. Uh, go ahead, June, eat it. No, not the eating part. <laughs> Actually, how long, as far as... Each one is detailed, but as yeah. far as uh, difficulty, this looks way difficult. Like, 
this this was hard work right here. <laughs> like, this For me, that that would be the easiest. The easiest. Money, okay, thing. yeah. Yes. Well, an, and the creations, um, like I said, just depends. I've done Mickey Mouse, Ninja Turtles. Yes. I've done everything. My like, next challenge will be to do Vicente Fernandez. Okay. <laughs> to do what? Vicente Fernandez. Oh, what? I'm sorry. The I'm Mexican sorry. superstar oh, singer. Oh, okay, my bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you're gonna do a oh, singer in this to stuff. Do that. Yes. Oh, we'll so um, people can do them for birthday parties, Ninja yes. Turtles, SpongeBob, anything, baby right. showers, weddings. Okay, also. so make sure you share your information again. Okay, um, you can reach me at facebook.com/barryfocreations. You can also inbox me on my regular Facebook, Chevy the Jesus, or 216-396-8494. Okay, well, great. We want to make sure we uh, get a taste of this. Oh, Seriously. Of course. Too. It's only right. I see. It's Enjoy. Nice oh. Thank you. You know, I got to turn okay. from the camera. I'm not shy. Mm. Oh, my goodness. This is great. I love, love this part of the job. <laughs> For more information about today's episode, make sure you check us out on latinocleveland.com. Next week, tune in as we hear about Chagrin Falls Orchestra and the Andes Foundation. Also, I'll be having a guest co-host. Just stay tuned to see who. Also, we're going to have a studio at Underground Grill from Lorraine, Ohio, who's going to be cooking up some good stuff. And we're going to have Body Temple Fitness that will be here to whip us up into shape. So that's going to be really interesting. Those Definitely. are old friends of yours, Definitely. right? Definitely. Body Temple. New friends. <laughs> so that's going to be really nice. Um, so don't forget that we're here every Saturday at 11 a.m. right here on Channel 3. So, June, do you have something you want to say to our audience before you go? Thank you for watching, and us at Yo Soy Latino Cleveland. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know you were going in there. <laughs>